Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now going to be answering question number two from the International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P P4 paper from October 2022. This question, part A, is about partial fractions. We have to, to take this fraction um, and we have to split it into two separate fractions. All right, so this is a fraction which has um, these denom the denominator is made up of linear factors and what we have to do we have to split it up into two separate fractions and we do that in the following way so you have 3x over 2x minus 1 times x minus 2 now we can see here that there are no um, repeated factors it's not like one of these brackets is squared so that's fine we can just straight away write this as a constant over 2x minus 1 because this is a proper fraction. So the first thing we really should check, is this a proper fraction? That's the first step. Is it a proper fraction or improper? Okay, so if it's an improper fraction, then we have to do something else. We have to split it up into a whole number and a proper fraction part. But this is an improper fraction. This is a proper fraction, so we can go straight ahead and we can split it up. So that's the first thing you always check. How do we know if it's an improper fraction? If the if the order of the numerator, the highest power in the numerator, is the same or greater than the highest power in the denominator. In the numerator, the highest power is power of 1. The denominator, if you expand it, the highest power would be um, power of 2. It's a quadratic. So you have a power 1 over power 2. Therefore, it's a proper fraction. So we can straight away split it up without any issues. So a over 2x minus 1 plus b over x minus 2. And then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides of this um, identity with 2x minus 1 times x minus 2, in which case um, this side becomes 3x and this side becomes a times, now if you multiply this fraction by 2x minus 1, x minus 2, the 2x minus 1s cancel out, leaving you with x minus 2. And if I multiply this fraction by these two factors, then the x minus 2 cancels out, leaving you with b times 2x minus 1. You'll notice that it's basically this is multiplied by the, the denominator of the, of the other fraction and this one by the denominator of the other fraction. All right, now what we can do is we can use certain techniques to find the values of a and b. Now, probably the simplest way in, in this particular case here is to just substitute a value that makes one of these brackets 0, eliminating one of the letters. So, for example, if I choose x equals 2, this bracket becomes zero. The a is eliminated from our, you know, our, our equation, and we'll be left with being able to find b. So I have to replace x with two everywhere. So that's three times two equals here. This whole whole term becomes zero. I have b times that's two times two, which is four minus one, which is three. So I'm left with three times um, b. So we can say see see that b is equal to two. So b is equal to two because the threes cancel. So we're left with um, b equals 2. That's the value of b. And for a, I can substitute inside, um, instead of x, half. Because to make 2x minus 1 become 0, x is going to have to be a half. That way, this bracket becomes 0, and then we can proceed. So x equals a half. You end up with 3 times a half, which is 3 over 2, equals, and you have a times a half minus 2, which is minus 3 over 2 half minus two that's right it's minus one and a half minus three over two and this becomes zero so we're left with basically now a equals negative one because you have you know if you multiply both sides by um two over three by negative two over three you're left with negative one there so we have a equals minus one and b equals two so we can say that our fraction three or three x over two x minus one times x minus two is the same as um, it's better if I write it the other way around. So 2 over x minus 2 minus 1 over 2x minus 1. Okay, I wrote it the other way around, so I have the minus in between instead of in the front of the whole thing. So that is um, your a over 2x minus 1. It's negative. And b over x minus 2, that b is that positive. So we have now split up the fraction into its parts. 2 over x minus 1 minus 1 over 2x minus 1. Okay, now for part b. Now, part B is telling us to hence, meaning use our um, the fact that we change this into partial fraction. So it was 3x over 2x minus 1 times x minus 2. It became uh, 2 over um, 2 over 
uh, x minus 2, wasn't it? Yeah, just to make sure. 2 over x minus 2 minus 1 over x minus, uh, over 2x minus 1. Okay, that's what that became. So, hence means using this answer that we found earlier. Find the integral between 5 and 25 of this expression. Show that it becomes lin k, where k is a fully simplified fraction to be found. Okay, so now what we can do here is we can um, rewrite this integral. So between 25 and 5. Um, we can rewrite this as 2 over x minus 2 minus 1 over 2x minus 1. And to integrate that with respect to x between those values. All right, and now what we can do here is we can start integrating straight away. We know that this gives us 2 times the lin of the modulus of x minus 2 divided by 1. This is of the form of f dash of x over f of x. Okay, so that gives us lin of the modulus of f of x. Okay, that's how that works, all right? So you have to, you notice that the numerator is a constant and the denominator is, uh, you know, x to the power of 1. If you differentiate x minus 2, you get 1, which is a constant, right? So this is going to be 2 times the lin of x minus 2, and you divide by the differential of what's inside the function, which is 1, so that stays as it is. Minus, and the same thing here, we'll have 1 times the lin of the modulus of 2x minus 1. Then we have to divide this by 2, because you always divide by the differential of what's inside the function. And we have to now substitute the values of 25 and 5 into there. So that's how you, um, once you've integrated, you don't write the integral sign anymore. But we have now these definite values to put in. So what I'm going to do first, um, I guess I can just put the numbers in. Um, straight away. There's no problem with that. Let's just do that. So we have 2 times the lin of the modulus of, that's going to be 23. All right, I don't need to put modulus now because it's positive. Okay, so I just put lin of 23 minus the lin of, and that, that's going to be 50 minus 1, which is 49. Um, and that's over 2. So I'll put that as a half times. That's better. Okay, let, let me just write, rewrite that as a half times. It's the same as being divided by 2. Okay, minus, and then I'm going to put 5 into them. So I have 2 times the lin of, that's going to be 3, minus the lin of, that's 10, minus 1, which is 9. Okay, so again, a half times lin of 9. Okay, a half times lin of 9. And now we have to simplify this to show in the form of, lin k. So we don't want any constants here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the power law. I'll use the power law. So I don't actually need this bracket anymore, do I? Okay, so the power law, I'll use the power law. So this will be the lin of 23 squared minus the lin of 49 to the power of a half minus the lin of 3 squared plus um, the lin of 9 to the power of a half. Okay, so that gives us the lin of 23 squared. Let's see what 23 squared. So we have 23 squared, which equals 529. So the lin of 529 minus the lin of, that's going to be 7, the square root of 497, minus the lin of 9 plus the lin of 3. Okay. So we're going to have here, um, let's sort this out using the laws of logarithms. I'll have the lin of 529 times 3 over 7 times 9. The ones that are negative will be the denominators. The one that's positive will be in the numerator. The 3 cancels with the 9, giving you with 3. So you're left with the lin of 529 over 7 times 3, which is 21. And there's our answer to this question. Now, if you want to be clear and sure that you've got the right answer, what you can do is you can actually use your calculator to calculate this integral. Right? It might not give you the same form as the answer as this, but it should be the same value. So let's just use the calculator to put this integral in here. This is not something that you can do and get the marks just by doing this, as it mentions here. All right? You have to... Um, use this as a check only. So you've got the integral of, 
I'm going to have 3x over, I'm going to have 2x minus 1, so 2x minus 1, close the bracket, open a new bracket, and x minus 2. Close that bracket, and then we're going to put the limits of 5 and 25, and our, our answer should be the same value as this. So let's see, I'm going to store this answer as A. Okay, that's 3.226. I'll write it here. 3.226. Just This is like a little check. So now I'm going to put this in my calculator. I'll put lin of 529 over 21. It gives us exactly the same answer. So I know that we're correct now. I know that we're correct because we got exactly the same answer when we um, checked the integral of this in our calculator so that we can be rest assured that our partial fractions was done correctly and our integration was done correctly so that's a, a nice way to check your answer of course you cannot just write the answer down they want it in terms of lin of something and that calculator gives it as a, a decimal value so that won't help anyway and if you just wrote the correct answer down in decimal value they will know that you just did what i just did here and that's not what this the course is about just putting your stuff in your calculator. It's about understanding how to um, you know, answer the questions properly. So there's your answer there for question number two from this paper four, from this pure mathematics P4 paper from October 2022, International A-Level at Excel. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will be in this region over here. Other questions from this topic of partial fractions, and also integration so i'll put partial fractions here and i'll put integration here and um, will be found in uh, you know in those playlists and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon